Yo what's good people it's Jay Cactus and in today's video I'm going to be showing you how to make dark trap beats like Metro Boomin in the style of his latest album Heroes and Villains. A lot of people have been asking for more trap videos on the channel and these are my favourite type of trap beats to make so it's like perfect timing. I want to make everything from scratch too but before we get into it I want to say a huge thank you to everyone who's been supporting the channel over the past year and that's to anyone who's watched the video, liked it, commented, subscribed to the channel, bought a kit from my site or just done anything to support. I think 2023 is going to be even bigger with better content for you so trust me i'm not slowing down anytime soon there's gonna be so much to look forward to so yeah much love to you all i appreciate everything you do for the channel and let's get into the video all right so a lot of his beats are based around orchestral instruments like pianos strings choirs even some brass all the things i like to use in beats well i'm gonna start with a piano i've also got the bpm set to 162 so i really like the track welcome down which is around about that tempo and i'm just using this grand piano in contact i've got the key set to d sharp minor and in my head i want to make something kind of repetitive so it might be focused around one chord but the count melody can change just a little bit so let's see what we can make So I like this chord. All I did there was just invert the F sharp and then I've got the A sharp on top too. So I'm gonna to extend this and then I'm just gonna cut this, I think here and here. I like the sound of that. And then maybe we could get some higher notes too. And you probably know this by now, but just using semitones like notes close together can make it sound that bit darker. Let's pitch these up an octave. Maybe bring this up as well. But then maybe just another note like this. But right now it's a bit unnatural, so I'm just going to manually move a few notes. I'm just holding Alt and clicking. Same with these as well, so the slices are perfectly on grid. I'm going to randomize the velocity with Alt and R, and then just make some finer adjustments with certain notes, like these high ones. And then I'm going to double up the bass note. <sighs> yeah, that's sounding hard. So let's copy this out a couple times, and then I'm going to move these down. Definitely need some reverb on there though. Ooh, half time sounded crazy. Okay, and then to add a bit more atmosphere to those keys, I'm just going to add this organ from Analog Lab. And it's just going to be the same chord. So I think just these three notes. Yeah, it sounds crazy. Alright, let's just copy that up as well. Yeah, it sounds mad. I'm just going to bring the halftime mix down as well. This is just going to give us another bottom layer. We're getting somewhere now. I think some staccato strings will work well in this beat as well. So I'm just going to use strings of winter in contact. Some real nice dark string instruments in here. I like that. We could bring these notes down now. Then just copy that out a few times. And then a couple of filler notes maybe. Ooh, half time sounds crazy on it though. Could bring the mix down a bit too. Alright, next I'm thinking maybe some horns, but just have these every now and again. And I think it just needs that same chord. Just create some nice impact. For the horns, I just had the same halftime preset as the strings, so I'm using a lot of halftime in this. Because this is without. It just sounds darker. Alright, next, just for some more accents, I'm gonna use the Mellotron again, and I'm just using this bell. But then in this section, I'm just gonna come down the scale or the chord. Yeah, that's the one. I'm gonna get this one shot in as well. And then I think it just needs a couple more textures. Something like this one or that one. That one could work. So just there. This might be the last thing I'm going to add for the melody. But I want to add this choir from Ethno World. Same chord, but here. And then it can come up in the second one. Alright, cool. I think we can get the drums in now. 
Okay, let's get in something like this godly one. For the hi-hat, we'll go for something like this. We'll just start with each two-step. Maybe we could get another one in here. I think this is all the bounce leads. And maybe just a roll at the end. And for the eight weight, I don't just want to use the spins or zays. I'm going to use this Goliath one, but to make it a bit more bouncy, I'm just going to bring that out now, but we'll boost it as well. There's some nice distortion on this one. So we'll have something like this. See what I'm saying? Eight weight just needs to be kind of simple, but I could get a note up here. We'll copy that. We'll bring this one up an octave. And just to switch it up, I could bring this one back. We just swapped that hi hat for this essential one as well. I thought the other one was a bit too sharp. Just fits the vibe a bit better. Okay, let's get a few perks in as well. I like this one, I like this one too. All right, I think I want to open hat just to emphasize some of the kicks as well. And then I'm going to clone that. I want to add one on this snare, but this one's going to get reversed. All right, and then maybe just one more open hat here, but a bit lower. And then I think just one more here. Okay, and I'm gonna add one more. And I'm just using this as a bit of a roll at the end. All right, I think that's gonna be enough now. So I can start arranging it, boosting that kick a tiny bit as well. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and split this pattern. Copy it out a few times. I'm gonna get rid of all of the perks. And then I'm also gonna change up the 808 just for this first section. I'm also going to automate half time and this was just on the piano so this is the normal value i'm going to bring it up here get rid of that choir and i think i might just start with the drums like straight away i'm basing this around the track welcome down to and if you listen to that intro it starts off with a melody but the volume gradually fades in whilst the drums are still loud so i'm going to do that same effect so you can either automate the level or i'll just automate the volume in fruity balance i always just copy the initial value paste it in here and then i'll bring this up but we'll set that to single curve just a different way to start a beat, but I like it. And then in this section, we'll take a few things out. We'll take out the open hat and the kick. We'll take out this pluck sound. So yeah, it can drop like this. And then for this section, I think we could just keep everything in. Yeah, hard. And then in this section, maybe half time could come back in. Take out that organ, take out that kick too. Take out the open hat. And then in the track, the eight weight doesn't really come out. So I might do something similar. To start off like this and then in this section we'll bring the brass back let's take everything out for now and then yeah i think half time can come up here so that section's cool then in this section we'll introduce something maybe some textures and then here we'll bring half time back on maybe take out some perks too yeah and then we could copy this over all right let's hear it from the beginning so like I said, just starting off straight away with the drums and the piano, but it's got half time on. And then we're just automating the volume. And then straight into the hook. So this is where half time comes off. And then the organ that comes in, which separates the hook. Now we got the kick. So in this section, here's where we have everything. Most energy. Back to the verse. So yeah, I kept the eight weight the whole way through. And I might even move this one just for a little bit of a switch up. So we pick up some energy by taking half time off. 
and then I just saved a couple count melodies for the next section. I think this one came out crazy. And then we got a bit of a bridge here. So yeah, that new 8 weight pattern, it just calms it down a bit before the hook. <laughs> 